Hi, it's Chris here from the EQ Mod Project. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to look at how EQ Ascom can help to position your poloscope correctly. To assist me in this uh, exercise, I've written a, a poloscope simulator, uh, which shows the kind of view you would see if you're looking up through your poloscope. There are four buttons uh, associated with it, which uh, mimic the effect of adjusting the azimuth and altitude adjustment bolts on your mount. Uh, there's also a little checkbox there so I can uh, disengage the right ascension clutch. If we look at the EQM sites uh, setup, you'll see there's a button that is showing the hour angle of the pole star. If I click this button it brings up our poloscope alignment tool. Now I'll just clear up the clutter here a bit. Okay now what this is showing is again a view through the poloscope of where the pole star would appear if you were perfectly aligned. So this is effectively showing you what you're aiming for. And the most basic way of, of, of using this information uh, is simply to slacken your right ascension clutch and then rotate the uh, right ascension axis until you guess that the uh, small circle is in the same kind of position as as is shown on, on, on the poloscope tool. Then what you would do is adjust in azimuth and altitude using the, the, the bolts on your mount to bring the pole star into the center of that small circle. something like that. And then you would be nominally uh, polar aligned. Now this is all well and good uh, but this method does rely on the operator estimating the target position and looking through the poloscope which is never particularly easy. Um, to help a little bit with the process you'll notice that this window itself can be sized so if you are lying on the ground um, in a weird position looking up through the, the uh, poloscope it can be a help if you can make this this uh, image as big as possible so you can you see it clearly on your PC screen um, but nonetheless it still requires a certain amount of estimation uh, or rather guesstimation With EQ ASCOM, we can provide a more precise method of, of positioning the uh, right ascension axis. And that's what uh, I'm going to show now. So I'm just going to reset things. So I'm going to put the, the clutch back on, move the star off. Okay, now the first thing we need to do is check that the uh, limit protection has been turned off. We're going to have EQ ASCOM here driving uh, the right ascension access and when you're uh, performing polar alignment the mount can end up in some quite peculiar positions. 
uh, with the counterweights uh, up on, on on top. If you're at all concerned about the position that you might end up in, uh, it's probably a good idea to remove your telescope at this point, not not have it fitted. Um, you don't want it colliding with anything. Okay, so the limits are off, so that's that's, that's good. Now I've got to open up that window again and resize it so we can see everything we need to see. Okay, now what we have to do now is get to a known starting position and there are four different positions we can pick 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock and 12 o'clock looking at this uh, we could go for 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock is pretty near where we are I'll probably go for 12 o'clock just to, to show you To position the mount in the 12 o'clock position, all we have to do is, using the altitude and uh, azimuth bolts, I'm sure these things are labelled up wrong. Is position what we're doing is we're going to position the star on the center. By positioning it on the center, we can make sure that we are slap bang in the center. Yep. And then we adjust in altitude. until we intersect the larger circle. That is now the 12 o'clock position. So what we do now is adjust uh, using the slew controls on EQASCOM or the gamepad is we rotate the mountain right ascension until the small circle is over the star. A bit too far there. Everything is now set up in our 12 o'clock position and what we can do is we can uh, save this position for future use. I'll show you that later. Now to move the the mount to the precisely to the correct position uh, f for where uh, the pole star is now. Uh, we just click this button here, align poloscope. It comes up with a warning to say the mount may move to a counterweight up position. Are you sure you want to continue? Let's say yes. And now EQ Ascom is going to accurately position this in exactly the right place. There's no estimation about this. This is um, precise movement. And once it's got there, again to complete the polar alignment procedure, all we do is adjust in Altitude Azimuth to put the star in the circle. And that's it. The the pole alignment is now complete. If you disable limits, uh, 
what you could do now is park, then re-enable your, your limits. Now let's let's assume that we've uh, now shut down. It's another night. We've come along. We've set up. What we need to do is accurately set our home position. Uh, some people use a, a, a mark on the mount in some way, uh, or use bubble levels to uh, accurately start in the home position. We then power up the mount. Start up EQASCOM, bring up the alignment tool, polar alignment tool, and it's saying the mount must be unparked. Sorry, I forgot to unpark. Uh, unpark. Bring up the polar alignment tool. So be just freeze. And because we've saved our poloscope position before at 12 o'clock, we can now just say, move to it. We get the usual warnings. And it will automatically move to that 12 o'clock position. Of course, the star wouldn't be here if we were start starting up afresh. It would be off somewhere else. Um, and then we're just going to hit the Align Poloscope. And it will again move it to the correct position. So once you've set your Poloscope home position... Uh, once you and you saved it, and provided that you can start up in an accurate home position, polar alignment then really just becomes a matter of pressing two buttons. Uh, and I should say, as well as moving the uh, right ascension axis here, the poloscope home also stores the uh, declination axis position. So if you have to rotate the deck axis uh, for the poloscope to actually uh, see through the declination axis then it will store that position as well so uh, it really just does become a case of pressing two buttons and of course the pleat alignment as before it's just a case of centering the pole star in the circle and it's done okay that concludes the demonstration